Pardon? And what? Oh, come in. Don't put them there! I want them on the bed! Oh, right. All right. That's all right. That's satisfactory. Where's the sir? Where's the what? The sir. Toilets at the end of the landing, pal. Pal? Pal, you know, like a mate, friend, Kimosabi. Sir! No, that's a title like Lord or Mister. But where's the sir? I told you. Where did you last see it? What? Never mind. That's not very smart. What's well, not very smart? Your dress man! Dress? This isn't a dress. I'm not into that sort of thing. Mr. Pike is a nasty movie. No, no, your uniform! Oh, this isn't my outfit. I've just been cleaning the streets and I haven't got changed yet. I see. You may leave. Oh, really? Yeah, thanks so much. What a pleasure to serve you, sir. Ah, you found it! Found what? The sir! Fine, whatever. What a nice man that guy is. Well, I was a waste of time. Smell that was that? Oh, I'm sorry, sorry. I'm Kenneth Moncaster, proprietor of Sparklers Hotel, and you are? Yes, I would like a room, please. Single, all right? That will be fine. Right, can I have your name? Lord Jack Paddington. Lord? Yes. But, but, but we are close! This isn't the first, Mr. Moncaster. <laughs> Quiet, I'm only wearing this crap to lay hoodies out of what? I'm the Lord too, actually. I seriously doubt that. Ah, <laughs> marvellous for your Lordship. You've got a brilliant wit. <laughs> Jesus. You said actually. Well, may I personally welcome you to the Sparkless Hotel. I'm the proprietor, Lord Kenneth Mungaster. You already said that. So I did. By the way, have you heard of Mungaster Castle? No. Really? It's quite popular tourist attraction down here in the Lake District. Still haven't heard of it. Well, the castle was named after me. Really? How interesting. Thought I was called Crappy Castle. Excuse me, I was born in the area, and that castle was always called Mooncaster Castle. I knew nothing to do with it. Room free, your lordship. Thank you. Got someone looking after your estate while you're away? Estate? Don't you mean castle? County? Yes, I'm Lord Paddington of Lincolnshire. My word. Let me take your cases upstairs. Marvellous. You see, we at the Moncaster Hotel believe that customer service is our main priority. I'm still waiting for some bloody service here. Don't swear at his lordship like that, you repulsive scruff. Can I help you, sir? Who the hell are you? Turn manic, but old captain, as can be seen by my uniform. Do you like it? You look like a pillock. You're not a people person, are you? Do you want me to take your cases up to your room, sir? I haven't even been checked in yet. Oh, perhaps I could do that for you, sir. I want that git over there to do it. Fine, Mr. Moncaster. What? This man wants some service. What? I'll deal with Lord Paddington. You're supposed to be the receptionist. Right? Fine! I'll deal with that brain and over self. Oh. <coughs> Who left this bag here? I did. Oh, take Lord Paddington's cases up. It's room four. Why do I have to do it? Why can't you do it? I can't do it. I'm bell captain now. Bell Captain? Since when have you been made Bell Captain? Mr. Monk has shown my leadership skills. Now as Bugs Bunny said to Roger Rabbit, pop to it. <laughs> Say, I want a fancy title too. 
No, you've already got one. What is it? Chief Hygiene Officer. Chief Hygiene Officer? That sounds quite fancy, doesn't it? Yeah. What does it do? What does it entail? They're uh, cleaning the toilets. You staff, you don't get on with it. <laughs> now, what do you want, you repulsive scruff? I would like a room, please. I'm sorry. We only cater for ladies and gentlemen here, not dumb balls like you. My money is just as good as anybody else's. Yeah, tight town money really is useful for me. No, it may not be my place. It's not, so shut up. What's the trouble? That mangle-headed blimp is turning away my customer. <laughs> what on earth for? We only cater for ladies and gentlemen here. Can you afford to stay here? Yes, I can. Then you could stay here. Name? Sydney Hickenbottom. Very well, single room. Oh no, we've run out of rooms. <laughs> A single will be fine. There you are, Mr. Higginbottom. You've signed the register. Oh dear, no pen. Mr. Muncaster, please give him the pen. What pen? The one in your hand. This pen? Yes. Exploded. What? Will that do? That. I'll get Ed to fetch your back and so. Don't touch that. Only I shall ring the bell. Can I have breakfast in bed, please? Certainly not. Of course you can. What time would you like your wake-up call? 5.30, please. 5.30? Oh. <laughs> Trip over the cases again, Ed. No, Lord Paddington didn't like the way I said good day. That man just uses his style. Take this case up to room two, Ed. Oh! Just a bit. I'd like to speak to you two. It's fine, I'll take me on. Apologies, dolls. I hope you two realise we have no cook. Oh! Come to my attention that you two are a pair of pride chumps. I resent that. Tonight, a journalist from the Brave State Star newspaper is coming to report on the opening of the hotel. Oh, that's good. Ted's been in the newspaper a couple of times already. Really? Yes. Once for causing a brawl at an election uh, hustings, then for his shoddy workmanship, and the last time, they even the newspaper accidentally reported his untimely death. Shh. Listen, you two. This report is vital to the future of the hotel, so don't foul it up. What did take us for? <sighs> to be frank. Idiot. It's all your fault. Why did you have to back into that car, moron? I'm sorry. Sorry, sorry about the election. Sorry about the yokels. Sorry for everything. Stop saying sorry. Well, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, but when you're sorry, you just can't help being sorry. What are we going to do about this job, Ted? I don't like working for Mr. Muncaster. If you ask me, he's too bail short of a wicket. I tend to agree with you. Ah. <laughs> whoa, 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 Ted, what are you doing? You're wrecking everything. Exactly. If we wreck the spot, they'll have to fire us. But won't we have to pay for the damage? Sure, but get wrecking. <laughs> what the hell is going on here? Oh, get back to the the room, you. Oh, Jesus Christ! <laughs> 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 oh, what? Ed, what are you doing? I'm a man on the edge! No, no, where did he get those clothes from? Mr. Muncaster gave them me as a uniform. No, I meant that clothes. Oh, these, I got them out of this case here. Case? Lord Paddington uh, had two cases when he came in the lobby, didn't he? Uh-huh. And I uh, only took one upstairs. Oh, uh, you idiot! Well, I couldn't help it! You told me to wreck something! Yeah, I meant Mooncaster, it's not that toffee don't get stuff. He'll sue us, it doesn't pay out. Well, maybe we can fix it! <sighs> Long 
want the cold trek for a naval veteran. Welcome to the establishment, Mr. Kirkstan. Travel far? Not really, I've just finished reviewing the uh, Mariner's Rest. That hotel down the road there. Never heard of it. Really, it's uh, quite a, a famous, uh, well-run establishment around here. Very good food, good meals, uh, nice rooms. In fact, I think it was the first hotel I've ever given five stars. Oh, it's probably a real dunk compared to my premier establishment. Yeah, remember from premier with the price, eh? No, the price is premier too. Ahoy there, seaman. Just said feller have a wonderful room available. Piss off. Said feller begs said feller's pardon. Oh, oh, uh, what do you want, you customer? Said feller requested that said jackass might have a what the call room available. Oh, well, don't worry. One of my lackeys will deal with you inside. <sighs> Those landlubbers. As you can see, Mr. Kirk Stanton, customer service is paramount to our organization. Oh, dear. What a what the call dump. Almost as bad as when my what the call brief tenature here when I was what the call short of a bit of cash. Oh, hi there, seaman. Benson and Horatio home. Arriving at said hotel. Oh, look, it's Mr. Home. What are you doing here? Huh. Said feller has been invited to a local naval what the call reunion. Something which you landlopers would never want to call understand, said feller. Oh, were you in the Navy, Mr. Ho? Here's the what the call invitation. Wait a minute, this is addressed to Sir Admiral Cusman Seaworthy the Fourth. Huh? And this is a no union, so we see for a size eight pound loafer. Oh no, said feller's secret's out. Is he dead? If he is, it'll be the end of me, the end of you, and more importantly, the end of me. I can't feel a pulse. You're feeling his leg. His pulse is up here. Yes, it's fine. It's a bit weak, maybe. I think he's just fainted. Oh, no, Moncaster. Oh, that's all right. We'll just tell him the truth. He's got a journalist in a local paper. Oh! The whole, whole building has been completely refurbished. Can't save Ireland! You two! Hello! I'm Bell Captain Ted Manic, and this is my subordinate Ed Laurel and Peter Powell. Never mind the pleasantries, what have you done to my lobby? Nothing, sir. This hotel was struck by a minor earthquake. Earthquake? Yes, the location is uh, solely in this room. We were outside and we didn't fe hear any earthquake. No, it's just a tremor. What did you say? A tremor. Oh, don't they make sock mints? <laughs> yeah, well, as you can see, Mr. Kirkstar, there's a reasonable explanation. Yes, I'm sure there is. Get this lobby cleaned up, you two. Mm. Yes, mister. Home! Oh, oh, my leg! What's the matter? Just a bit of I chose the whole knee. I'll be all right in a minute. Ugh. Ah, <laughs> ah. Uh, uh. Artie chokes? Uh, perhaps you want to see the dining room. I don't know. Oh. What are we going to do about Mr. Home? Uh, take him somewhere where the journalist won't see him like uh, outside. Well, are we going to bury him in the garden? The fresh air won't wake him up, come on. <sighs> right. I think we'd like to see the lobby again there, Mr. Moncaster. Mr. Our hat stand. Uh, can I take a coat, Mr. Of course. Oh. Yeah. That's good. Can I take yours, Mr. Moncaster? No! 